Hi guys, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but yesterday, basically, in my real life, I uh, reviewed the Anna Griffin Continuous Card die set. Now, I think HSN wants 40 bucks for it, basically $39.95 or so. And, um, and it wasn't easy to figure out, but it wasn't hard. Once you get it, I think you get it, right? So this is the card I made with that set, and it keeps opening up because I guess the tape I used, I used, um, oh, where is it? I just put it away. Uh, Ad Tech Permanent Bond, and it didn't do the best job. Uh, the Tombow one did a better job, but I'll show you that in a minute. So anyway, you see how it keeps on and open up, and it's a little bit not quite right. So you really have to bone fold it exactly, and you want to fold all the folds before you actually put it together is one tip I had forgot to mention. Well, maybe I mentioned in the last video, but it was a long video. I don't remember what I said. But this is the card. So basically, it starts off this way, and then when you open it up, it's your continuous card so then it goes this way and you would have you know some kind of decoration and then it opens up this way and these areas are white because I used white uh, one-sided paper so that's kind of a bummer but there it is and so it was basically just to learn so after doing that I thought that's 40 bucks I mean it's kind of expensive I chatted with a gal in here who said you know sometimes most of the time with these cards you have to be there with the person to give it to them so they know what to do with it because like if you get this in the mail you know, maybe they'll uh, kind of figure it out. But if they don't, that's kind of problematic, right? So, so that's the Anna Griffin cutout one. I probably need to bone fold it a little better. It's a little bit fat. So I decided, you know what? I'll just make it up on my own. So this is one of the first ones, actually, was this one. This one. Um, I basically just made a piece of scrapbook paper and I just want to talk about it real quick because I don't want to bore you guys, but this is basically 6 by 12 inches and it has like cut in the middle here right at the 3 inches, right? But not all the way over, it's about 3 inches from the end and there's a scoring line a half, one and a half inch down on the other side and then one and a half inch over from there. So you know, you can do this in your with your math, so I did that. But then I thought, well, what's the point of even keeping one piece of paper at the base, the uh, 6x12? Because you're when you first start off, you have basically that piece of paper. Then you kind of bring it over like this and you glue it down. Let me show you. So you can have two separate pieces of paper. Because even the way she cuts it out, at here, you're going to put glue on either of these little corners. And then move these flaps over like this. So it could be just a 6x6 six six piece of paper, a square. And then these pieces can be another paper why even have it with the cut and all that stuff so I thought you know what I'm gonna do okay so I went ahead and created you know folded it and I scored it and I cut it just so and this is what I came up with and it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie but it was kind of a pain right to um, to do it and see how all the pieces match up and everything's great you know super cool so there's that but it was just a little persnickety to work with. Um, you can definitely just copy it, like I said, do your math and kind of make the score lines and cut. And then after I did this, I was like, okay, I'm just going to use separate pieces of paper. So what I ended up with was if you have four six-inch squares, you're going to be able to make this card really easy. And I'm going to make it really easy, okay? And then I thought, well, this can't be the first time someone's made a continuous card, an infinity card, a never-ending card, whatever you want to call it. So I looked up on YouTube and like... The last video was like nine years old, it's fuzzy, and she still made it weird. It was different. I'm just, I don't want to say weird because, I mean, obviously it's whatever the lady did, but... Um, actually, I should have started it this way. There's certain ways, you'll once you start making them, you kind of know what's front and what's back and what, you know. But anyway, um, so I looked that up, and in hers, it opened up here, but then once you get here, I think, it was, like, empty. Like, there wasn't... It, it just had pieces sticking out here. I guess she didn't add more panels, basically, is what it is. So, you know, it's old school. It was the beginning of that. So, but see how easily that kind of worked out? Look at that. Pretty cool. So these open up this way. And so, um, let me go back to the beginning. This is what I came up with. And then it took me a minute to actually make it run smooth for it to actually work. That's not the last one. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> This is the last one I made, and I'm going to put it to the side just so I don't forget. And these are all the iterations I made. Actually, I think I made this iteration before I made that one because I was still trying to do the cutting. And then I realized, you know what? It can just be separate pieces of paper. And that's why it's kind of wonky. It's not doing exactly as easily, but it still does it, right? Okay, so I just want to show you guys kind of what I went through to make this thing work. And then, oh, this is the other thing. If you want it to match up, 
there's only one time that you have to do something funny for it to match up when you're laying your pieces down. So this went like this, and then this was supposed to match up. This top part should have matched up, so I did that incorrectly, so I had to go back and kind of figure out which panels and how did you put them in here that will make it match up, okay? So um, that's kind of why I went to the one-sided paper because then I was able to figure out if something was upside down or whatever I started putting marks on them so I can really track what the paper is doing as you're flipping it as you're going through so that you know what you need to do to make your paper line up so I was like okay so even this one I think this one I had this over here I wanted it to be over there these guys are lined up just the way I cut them these guys are but now it's upside down so I had to figure out why is it upside down at this point when I laid it the right way the first time so really there's only one piece of paper that you have to mess with so I was almost there so this is the, the last one I did that is my perfect one I guess you want to say so this is how it starts and you can see this is a six inch uh, square it's perfectly lined up you see the little the design is lined up here and then you open it up and this is exactly the way I cut it it's lined up perfectly Ooh. I don't know, it doesn't want to focus. Hello? Okay. Um, this is lined up perfectly. If you really look close, it's a very small pattern. Then when you open it up this way, this is also perfectly lined up. Where it cracks here, you see the circles perfectly together. That one's a little bit different circle. And then it's not upside down. I did mark, well, see I wrote bottom and it still is at the bottom. So I was like, sweet, okay, I did that right. And then when I open it up like this, this pattern is kind of weird, but this is how it is. It has a little flower on it. If you can see the little flower pops up here. And then the, oh, okay. I live in town, guys. <laughs> and then um, the little border. So even though it looks funky, like this, that's how the paper was. So I got it, you guys. So I'm sorry about that intro. I'll put the beginning, you know, you can skip right to the tutorial. You are going to need to begin with. Um, not much. So you're gonna need four six inch squares, okay? Um, some adhesive and to be honest I think a liquid glue would be better because after a while this stuff wants to come apart the regular dry tape or double-sided tape or you know your tape runner but um if you have a really strong adhesive that you like oh you know what would be really good is that red stuff the one with the or the with the white backing that you tear off um that would be great oh it smells like a fire oh I hope that hope that's barbecue <laughs> I live right by a fire station and you guys just heard that but huh okay um no, it does. It smells like wood burning, not like a nice barbecue. But anyway, um, you can use that. And we need a bone folder for sure or something that will help you crease. And you're going to need um, something to help you score with just so you can score these one and a half inch lines. Basically, everything's going to have a one and a half inch line scored on it, all these little pieces. So I am using one sided paper, so it's easy for me to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because if this was double sided, um, I'll have to say, oh, okay, you know, and, but make sure it's the one you want or whatever. So it's easier if the paper has a, a white side so you can see very clearly what I'm talking about when I mean the, the pattern you want needs to be facing up or down or whatever, okay? So again, just four six by six pieces of paper. Cardstock would be better, obviously. Nice and thick. Uh, bone folder, something to score with, and something to glue with. And that's really it. So let me grab that myself. Um, I am probably going to return this thing because like I said I think H&M wants 40 bucks and it's cute but we have I mean I have plenty of dies I don't need the dies and this was kind of a pain to be honest um so I don't know but let's get started okay guys so I have my four pieces of six by six paper now um I kind of was recording and then I kind of got too many words out and I was just like this is getting confusing it's not confusing okay so let's just chill out <laughs> I will relax I have four pieces and some of them have a certain direction and I, want, I picked that on purpose because I want you to see that some pages if it has a certain direction like the up and down what I mean is like the words you don't want them to be upside down when you're done here or um, actually they're upside down right now <laughs> uh, anything like that we got to really make sure we're paying attention to that and so I, I did do that they're all uh, one sided okay so they can be four different pieces they can be four all the same they can be double sided just, just getting more confusing if it's double sided as you're working uh, just know um, how you have to kind of stick it down and just really pay attention to that okay so um, so I have four different pieces I do want to because this is the card let's say see how this front piece I haven't decorated yet look it's already coming apart here because I, I had to actually take this apart but anyway um, 
I didn't put any kind of focal point here. What you're going to do when you go to decorate is you have a one inch by three, one and a half inch by three inch piece on either panel here, and you have a three inch square on either side. Now to bring that together, and if you want to put a focal point in here, I was thinking about using something like this because um, I had used these for a review not too long ago, uh, Spectrum Noir stuff, and I never used it. So I thought, well, you know, I can use this, but I'm going to have to cut it in half, and then I'm going to have to score it so that we can kind of layer this in here. And it might be problematic, it might not be, and I'm just going to try it. I have some other little items. I have like this piece of paper, maybe I can cut something out on or use that as a center. Also, I have these little guys that we yeah, colored in. I can maybe cut some of those out, do some stamps, who knows. But um, you do have to pay attention to certain things. Like if you want this all lined up together, and we're gonna talk about that. So that all is one piece, see how it just goes seamlessly into the design, it's the same. There are certain directions on papers. So we have to pay attention to that, okay? And so we will do that, and hopefully I won't confuse you. See how the circles line up? We have to make sure that that's okay. And this paper's kind of funny. It, this is the pattern. Like, this little flower is right here, and then it goes into this border, and then back into those little birds. So that's why it looks kind of funky out of place, but that's how it is, okay? So this is our card, and so we have to keep all those things kind of in mind when we're working on this. So we're going to work with the first two pieces of paper, okay? So pick two. One's going to be your front, your first page, and one's going to be the second page basically. So it's kind of interesting how that works. So basically this is your front page. This is page one. So whatever you want to use for page one, you're going to pick. And then the piece of paper that's going to be on the back of that right now that we stick it down is going to be your page two. Now if you really look at this card, you'll understand why. If I flip this back like this and turn it over, this is page one and we're going to see how it's up and down cut. And page two is a, back, a side cut in the middle and they're stuck together basically. Hopefully you can see that. But for when you actually make the card it's page one because it's flipped this way. And when you open it up, that's page two, which is basically the back. So page one and two are your front and back of this first set of cards that we're gonna work with. So, um, if I want this to be on the front, actually, I do want this to be on the front, but I also want to show you guys how to use, like, to make sure that your paper is facing up and down and all that kind of thing. So, that, that doesn't really match. Maybe I'll use this on a different page. Or, you know, I can do this further in right later in the card instead of it having to be on this very front page so i will pick this for the front this is happy birthday basically is what the sentiment is on here so this will be my front and when i open it up i want it to open it up to the purple and then maybe we'll stick that girl on there how about that because there's only one other time yeah sounds good okay panel one page one panel two which is page two it's going to be on the back so basically here it is so our back pieces are going to be face down so if you have a direction on this piece of paper you need to pay attention to that this is the back page you need to pay attention to it so right now all I'm going to do is make a uh, horizontal cut basically I'm going to turn the paper or else this way cut it but if you have this top part being the top part that you want or the bottom make sure you're paying attention to that and you're still going to cut it in the middle okay so I'm just gonna take my paper trimmer and this is our back page and I'm gonna trim it at three inches so I'm just cutting it in half okay again if you have a certain direction make sure you're cutting it <laughs> not up and down because then you just made your paper not how you want it because then we have to turn it sideways and so this is what we want I'm gonna leave it face up for now and then the page that's gonna be stuck on top of that is going to have a cut horizontal I'm sorry vertical <laughs> vertical up and down right so again if this is the top this is your bottom you need to cut it right in the middle this way not this way you have to have it this way and we're gonna cut it right down the middle so I hope I'm not losing you guys already this is kind of where I started getting persnickety earlier there's not it's nothing it's just this is gonna be your front page you want it oriented exactly how you want your front page to look that's it the back page you want it oriented how you want the back page to look, but you're cutting it um, horizontally, okay? So this one vertical cut, and this one's horizontal cut. Now, we are going to score each of these little pieces of skinny paper at one and a half inches down, one and a half inches up, or however you want to do it. So what I do is I just take them together because it's easy. You can do one at a time. It doesn't matter. Just do your one and a half inches on either side. So I'm just going to put them together because that's just the easiest for me to do. And one and a half inches in, and one and a half inches in. 
it is really breezy day which is awesome but it's making a <laughs> huge mess here all kinds of papers are blowing around so i'm gonna put this to the side for now and we're gonna do the same thing with these guys you can do it right on the top i don't you know i just like to score things on the back side so if you want to score one and a half one and a half on the color side it doesn't matter just this part is not it's gonna be the same for all your papers regardless of what the orientation of the paper is so one and a half oopsie one and a half and one and a half okay the other thing I like to do before we start doing anything else is go ahead and bone fold it, or not really bone fold it, but go ahead and fold down those one and a half inch marks, those lines, because those registration lines are going to help you out when we put down our adhesive and everything. So I'm going to put this out for a while. Again, that's the paper we had there. And this one. Now, this is the only one that's going to be funny, the way you stick it down, because you have to pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So. Again, this is our panel one front page. This is panel two, the second page, but right now it's basically front and back. We're gonna stick it down. So the back piece, we're gonna have it face down. We're turning it over. Again, if this is the top of your paper, make sure that's the top and it's meeting up where you want it to meet up and everything, right? So basically you're just flipping your paper over like this. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. We have to put adhesive on these corners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, all those corners. And I mean, I'm gonna do it right now for you guys, but basically there's one, two, three, four, these bottom corners, right? All the out, outer edges. Now let me grab my glue, hopefully here. And it should be about one and a half inches. So you already have this one and a half inch mark kind of set up for you, right? Where we folded it. And then you're gonna go about one and a half inches down and put in your, what is this thing doing? Okay, put in your glue. I would love to use a wet glue, but I feel like when you go to bone fold it later and the glue is either wet or not wet, it might separate. So you can try that out. I would like to try it out for right now. Obviously for this video too, I need it to be faster, but maybe one of those wet glues that still has a little bit of rubberiness to it, that might be good. So I just put about a one and a half inch square. So right up to the line and then only like one and a half inches down. Now we're gonna take these guys. Now, <laughs> the two top pieces, I'm gonna put them the right way. They're facing the right way. This is my top, this is the bottom, you know what I'm saying? If I'm looking at it, this is the way the word should be written. Now, you're gonna glue these face up, but the opposite side's touching. So, you see where I cut it? Kind of where that purple ends. Oh, this is the next part of it. You're going to switch those around, and that's it, okay? <laughs> that's it. So, now they're not touching correctly. Actually, they, <laughs> you know what's so funny? Is that this is basically perfect in that area which is kind of funny but okay again this is how you cut your paper your little paper was six inch square we cut it down the middle now you're going to take this piece and put it over on the opposite side and we're going to glue the top pieces the pieces face up so it's facing you nice and cute oh look how cute that paper is okay so we're going to stick that down in those two corners that's the only tricky thing this is the only one. If you don't do this, when you go to do your card, it's going to flip your pages, which is interesting. But that's the only one that does that. Everything else, you're going to stick it down the way you want to see it. When The way it is, that's how you're going to... That's how you want to stick it down. I'm just making sure that these guys are lined up nice. Okay. I'm just going to kind of push that down just to get those corners really nice. Oh, sorry. You know what? Oh, this camera. This tripod, this new one, it really shakes a lot. So, that's it. Okay. Now... This is it. So you have this one like this, and on the back side it has that vertical, um, that horizontal cut. We're All we're doing to this, we're not messing with it, we're just gonna flip it over, okay? Now you can see I did that very perfectly with that <laughs> white out there. Okay, all we did was flip it over. You have that horizontal cut. We are going to bend this back and since you scored this at one and a half inches, that piece of paper, all the piece of paper, it's gonna be very easy to do. See, it's already scored, it's already kind of wanting to bend there. The bottom one, same thing, it already has that score. Very easy, just bend it back. Now, <coughs> because I don't have perfect one and a half inch squares of glue, you can take this to the corner of your, um, or wherever you wanna put it, and just make sure it's still a six inch square or so. Right, so I'm kind of having to tug at this bottom one just a little bit just to make it nice and square and let me just make sure yeah that's pretty good so now that we've seen that we can 
bone folded. Now that I know that we're good there, that's basically a six inch square again. Just bone fold it. You're gonna have to bone fold the heck out of this thing, let me just tell you. So, I haven't done anything, all we did was flip it and we just turn that out, turn it bottom, good to go. Next page. I don't know if this is actually page three or four when you actually flip it, I don't care about that part to be honest. Um, it's just page one and two, which are the front and the back, when you're first sticking it down, you really have to pay attention to. So these guys, you know, um, it doesn't matter to me which one of these I want to stick down. So let's just say this one, because it's very cute. Okay, so now I have my little drawing here. This is step two. See how it kind of has that ridge in the middle. You have your top and your bottom. The next two pieces have to be a horizontal cut. And then you're going to add the two pieces face up. Just the way you're going to see it when you mess with your card, that's how you're going to stick it down. Okay, so I'm trying to make it very clear, but hopefully I'm not saying too many words that end up confusing. Oh, is that FedEx for me? Maybe. No, maybe not. I have something coming in today, but we did our vertical cut. You know how I always remember vertical and horizontal? I'm just going to say this is so dumb. Mountain Dew used to have a commercial that said get vertical with Dew, meaning like up high. So I always remember that. Anyway, I always forget them otherwise. I guess Horizon should help too, but it doesn't. Okay, this six by six piece of paper, you have the wrong side down. Just the way you want to see it, when you fold your card, that's what you want to stick down. So we're right side up, right? Again, I'm going to bone fold at one and a half inches. There's no getting this part wrong. If you guys are like, well, well you, can, you can't fold it the other way. It has to be these little short ways, one and a half, one and a half, right? If you do it this way that doesn't make sense okay so it's that's what I'm telling you it doesn't matter when you throw on here I don't feel like that's something I have to discuss discuss too much but just one and a half and again we are going to stick this down the way you want to see it when your card is assembled and done the way you want to see it is how you're going to stick it down the only one that has something funky is that first page where you have to flip them opposite of each other okay so now, now the glue is easier to do because you have a little registration mark there from when you bone folded and then here, right? This is the edge. So now you have a good idea of how much glue and where to put it on all four corners, guys. I'm telling you, this video is probably gonna be kind of long, but it really doesn't have to. This is pretty easy. Cause after this, just one more panel you're gonna stick down and then that's it. Okay, again, the way you want to see it, if you have a certain, you know, cut in the middle that you want it to match up, just make sure that's what you're doing. And you're just going to stick it out. Okay. This one is a little more crooked than my last card, I'll tell you. But that last one, it just came out, like, perfectly, and I was like, this is so good. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, I think I cut this a little bit crooked. That's okay. All right. So, again, you can just kind of and fold that down we're not doing anything with the card at this point as far as like turn it over or do anything like that all you're gonna do now now you've gotten it you literally we're almost done guys you're just gonna pick it up and we are going to flip it out this one's a little bit persnickety because you have like these weird pocket things then you have that middle area as you see as i'm folding it maybe that's a better angle basically these edges back here are going to touch each other that's another way to know if you're having your little six inch square but just lay it down again i don't really push it down hard until i Kind of check and see that I'm at six inches square and I totally am so I'm just gonna push those down so this stuff doesn't have to be perfect when you look at it a lot of times for some reason this side it ends up a little bit crooked but that doesn't matter because as long as the edges are your six inches whatever happens inside here is gonna be wonky it's gonna work out so let's bone fold that really really well and I want to give you guys a good look at this I haven't flipped this thing I haven't done anything else other than where it just was right now right we just pushed it out this way. So look at that. Do you see how it looks? It has like these weird little squares. It has that pocket part. It has just so people can kind of get an idea of what's going on. This is our last page. Again, our last page was just like the other one. You're going to stick it down the way you want to see it. So we're not flipping this. We don't have to stick it wrong side down or, you know, right side, whatever. The right side is facing you just how you want to see it. That's it right there. And the last thing we're going to do with this one is I just want to make sure I'm doing this right here is basically we're just gonna cut it in half and it can, you can kind of tell because you just came from a vertical cut this one needs to be the other way so that when you can flip it you can flip it right so 
Okay, I had to cut it out because I kept saying the wrong word. <laughs> I want to say horizontal. So this is our page. You saw, you know, with all those different things I just showed you, it has like the little, just sitting here. We're not doing anything else to it. Our last piece of paper, again, just the way you want to see it. And all you're going to do this time is make a horizontal cut. I keep saying vertical. That's why I'm like, ah, so I, hopefully this makes sense. So you got your horizontal cut right here. So if you have an up and a down, make sure you're orienting it right. Just the way you want to see it in your card is what you're going to do. But you need to cut it horizontally. So I'm going to cut it at three inches. Just bring it over. Sorry, guys. And I hear Miranda screaming up there because, oh my gosh, her brother. They love to tease each other. All right. So those are going to stuck down there. But before we stick it down, what do we need to do? It's pretty repetitive. We're going to bone fold those little sides, right? Just to make it easy for us to manipulate later. So again, one and a half inches in, which is basically at the four and a half inch mark over here and one and a half inch mark over here, All right? Did I just take my card with me? <laughs> it's stuck to the back of this. Okay, again, let's give it a little fold to make it easy. And since I do have a direction, my up is up, down is down, okay? And now again, you still have that little one and a half inch. It's going to kind of help you these little corners, every corner. You're going to put glue. See how there's a folded area and it's these outer corners. So outer corner. I was thinking about like diagrams and how I can write this out. Really, you just have to do it. There's no other, um, you know, like I wrote one, two, three, like that stuff kind of. And I would take my time to really put the glue down really nicely, but you know. Okay, again, I try to match it out with the outer edges first, but however you need to do it. And then down here, that'll also kind of help you um, with the ends of your paper to look nice and square if you're lining it up outside. And see this piece, like it's just kind of sticking out. I would just cut it, to be honest, but I'm gonna wait because this is our last page. This is it, guys. Give it a nice burnishing, really glue that down. And every time you work the corners like this and you're doing this, you're really enforcing the whole thing. Okay, so I'm really just pushing it all out there. That's it, page four. So you're gonna have to flip it six times basically to get the card back to the front page and how you want it. Cause these first two flips are like a, not really a waste, but um, actually, well, let's just keep going through. So I just flipped it open, all right? All you're doing, since that was a, uh, horizontal fold where you're flipping it out. This is basically page one, right? And I can look at page one and I can make some adjustments because I can see that it's kind of crooked. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to do and get that thing going. A little bit crooked, but oh well. Okay. Open it up, give it a nice crease. We're gonna open it up again. This is our purple paper and give it a nice crease because you see how they kind of rubbed on each other it's because you got to get this thing basically wanting to do what it's supposed to do and i have a lot of space over here so i might have just messed that up open it up again this time it's this way and that was easier to open because we're now we're kind of smashing it out kind of getting it used to what it needs to do and this i'm going to press open outwards whatever it is that you can tell it wants to tug a certain way or whatever just let it go now this one wants to open out we're gonna open it out and this is that last page we just worked on, right? So again, just give it some smoothings. <laughs> and there you go. And if you see like this top part, like I told you earlier, I'll probably just cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. That white excess that's on the very top, you can just kind of whoot, try to do it as straight as you can. Trim up whatever you have to, basically. My other one, it was perfect. So it just depends, guys, you never know. Okay. So now when I open it up again, this is page one. Our card is done. I should have stuck this down a little bit more straight. <laughs> Do you see that? But okay, come on down. Let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Page one. Page two. Hi, Amanda. Page three, as you flip it open. And page four. And now we're gonna go back to page one. That's it. 
Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I wish I would have just done this a little, you know what? And what's funny about the glue, about this tape, is that you can literally readjust this because all you have to do is kind of pick it up and just pull it down. I'm not going to do that because, you know, whatever. I was just kind of showing you guys. But now let's say we wanted to decorate this and, you know, I don't know what I want to put on there. But let's say I want to put that pretty, this pretty guy here. Why not? Actually, I want to put it on this red page. I like the way it pops better. See, with that red background. So what I'm going to do with this guy is measure him. He is four and a quarter, so I'm going to cut it at two and an eighth. Hopefully, this little thing isn't that accurate. My cutter, two and one eighth. If you want to do any kind of, um, you know, bring your little tools out, do a little edging, whatever it is that you want to do. This thing still has blue and purple on it from the last time I did something. Just pay attention to what you're doing, because if you start messing with this card too much before you really deck it out, it's very possible that you are going to uh, forget what's up and what's down. <laughs> okay, let me cut this a little bit too. Okay, as you go through, you can perfect your card, so it'll, and that actually helps it just when you go to do all your flipping and turning and all that. Okay, so I wanted these guys in here. And you can also bone fold it so that it works right. You know what I'm saying? So that you can without uh, damaging the card too much, whatever your focal point is. But I am going to just stick it down because I live life on the edge. But I would, normally if I wasn't making a video like this, I would definitely take the time to measure that. And that way when I go to fold it next, it's not going to give me a lot of problem. But I'm just going to stick that down right here. Okay, and then this one so that's it. You would just go around and decorate the whole thing with your little whatever you want to put on the sides, here and there. Hold on, Miranda Lou. Um, again, you have to trim things down. If it's a little piece that you're going to put here, you've got to trim that too. Like the whole, and everything that you put in here, if it doesn't fit in this little area, you're going to have to trim it, you know, cut it in half, cut it in a quarter, wherever you have to cut it to make it work. So I put that guy there. I'm going to turn it back. Maybe add a little something here. I'll do that probably off camera now. It's going to be funny because I just put that piece right. We just put this piece that needs to learn to fold. So I'm just going to give it a nice little firm turn there. And let's flip back to that page so we can see what it looks like. So here again, front of the card, I can decorate it. Second page, which was the back initially. Decorate it, open it up. Ooh, there's our little lady. Open her up. And then there's the last page. Okay? I'll probably decorate and have some pictures for you guys. I don't want to waste your time here. It's long enough. So hopefully that wasn't confusing. I don't think there's any way I can write this down and make it any better. So it's, it's what it is. Um, and by the way, you don't have to do a six inch square card. You can do four inches. You can do three inches. It doesn't not matter as long as you're cutting the paper right in half and all the pages are the same. So if you want to make an eight inch card, as long as you have eight inch squares, four eight inch squares, do exactly the same thing. It'll be bigger. You can go even bigger, but it'll kind of get gangly at that point. So I would say keep it, you know, a little smaller. Um, eight, ten inches is probably the biggest I would do. But pretty cool, right? So hopefully you guys can do that on your own because like I said, it's not, you don't need those dies. You don't need anything and you can do it just like that. This one's getting a little sticky. I might probably cut something in here like the, it's this edge. It's this very edge right here. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.